Cook County Jail is one of the largest jail complexes in the country. It has been undergoing a major overhaul for nearly a decade and is now seen by some as a model facility. Cook County is a pre-trial detention center, which means a majority of the inmates have not been convicted of a crime. Because of a backed up legal system, Shaquille Lewis has already been here for two and a half years on an armed robbery charge. One of the major changes was expanding the use of ankle bracelets for electronic monitoring. More than 2,000 low-level detainees are currently being monitored from home during their court proceedings instead of sitting in jail. Mental health treatment is now central to the jail's mission. Officials say up to a third of the detainees here have psychological issues. During the intake process, inmates go through state-of-the-art body scanners and receive a mental health evaluation. And the jail's warden is a clinical psychologist. But some inmate advocates say focusing on treatment inside jails will just keep the mentally ill trapped in the criminal justice system. Nearly 700 inmates live in this dormitory. They are supervised by a handful of officers, a low guard to inmate ratio. It's also one of the safest places in the jail mostly because the inmates are facing low-level, nonviolent charges. Cook County has installed hundreds of surveillance cameras and uses interactive maps to track violent incidents. Fights are most likely to occur during recreation time when inmates are out of their cells. Officers complain that with a focus on expanding therapeutic programs for inmates, the jail administration has paid less attention to security. During our visit, a 20-year-old inmate stabbed two other inmates several times. The sheriff of Cook County, who has implemented many of the changes at the jail, is aware that challenges still exist. He said that the best way to gain the public's trust is by being honest when things do go wrong. 